Hi, I am going to talk about one-time payment in Oracle Cloud Payables in this video. What is our agenda will be? Definition of the OTP, how to set up and how or from where you have to get the template of OTP and we will do one practical example and the third and last one will be frequently asked questions about OTP. Let's start by the definition of the OTP. One-time payment is used to pay other parties without having to create a supplier. In some cases, you are going to make a payment for a supplier, but at the same time, you don't need to create it as a supplier through supplier web page. So in this case, you can use one-time payments. Also, the one-time payments features enables you to import transactions from external systems as payment requests. You have to use the FBDI as file-based data import template and make payments through Oracle Vision Cloud. One-time payment is applicable only for the payments coming from external supplier. Take care that FBDI doesn't support the creation of prepayment invoices. Also, you can upload attachments to the payment request directly on the create invoice and edit invoice pages. All of these points we will see later in this video. Second one, the setup and template and practical example. To get the template, you have to take the copy of this link and you have to download the payment payment payables payment request template and enter the data and generate the CSV file and load and import and check the status. Regarding the setup, there are two main setup for OTB. First one, you have to enable opt-in for one-time payments is required. Second option, in common options for payables and procurement, you have to set the default liability and expense accounts for payment requests. So let's get into the application to show you these two steps. As you know, once you log in, you have to navigate to setup and maintenance. Select financial offering, go to payables. Once you go to payables, you have, have click on change feature opt-in. Again, go to payables, features. The first option you will see here, one-time payment. What you have to do, you have to enable this checkbox. After that, done. Second option in common options for payables and procurement, you have to set the, the two default accounts for liability and distribution accounts. In the same here, you have to navigate to manage common options for payable and procurement, but you have to select first the scope as your business unit. So I will go to there. You have to go to down down here one time payment. You have to put the liability and the expense. Then save and the close. So this is how to set up the one time payment. Now if I take this sorry, if I take this as copy and this I will go to Google here paste you have to go to down until you reach to payables payment payables payment request import here the template 
once you download it if I click on it sometimes you will face issue like this Microsoft has blocked macros so what I have to do in this case I just again I can download without open I will show in folder go to here and click properties go to to make unlock apply ok then I will open it once you open it you have to you will find two tabs this for generate second to enter the data so I will delete all of this I will make like this for example so I will make transaction identifier 200 what is the party name Mohammed Salah what is the party original system reference as you know any field started by asterisk is required the other is optional so I will OTP party 0001 organization type I will put organization location OTP location 0001 the country you have to enter two character or two digits of country for example USA US India IN Egypt EG and so on so I will enter EG address is optional 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 go right right building optional city state all of this if you select us you have to enter all of this data go right again here by email I will enter um, gmail.com party registration number also optional go to right account name bank name bank number you can also enter the bank name bank number bank branch but also it is optional here is a business unit you have to take the business unit from your I have this business unit and what is the source one time payment invoice number I will put OTP invoice date you have to set enter the date like this format started by month day and year so I will enter 10 20 currency I will enter EGB here is the description I will OTB video learning import set optional legal entity you have also take the same legal entity of your system payment term I will put immediate payment method pay group here the liability account I will take the same whatever I put it in the common options for payables and procurement and go to right to enter here at least one required for the attributes I will enter at repute 11 and the last field will be the distribution here also sorry because I am uh, here so go to right you have to enter how many line invoice number and the amount 2500 one time payment video learning here the distribution combination you can take the default also this is up to you only this the fields you have to fill it then I will delete this I take it as example 
so this is my data so after you download the template you enter whatever the fields then go to the first tab and make generate csv file system make a validation after that will populate message to save it i will save it in downloads in otb muhammad as a zip file okay again this is a csv file save has been created okay so this is a very step download template enter the data generate csv and save csv file in your computer after that come back to application go to tools and to boot first in the file after you go to tools click on file import and export click add new one what is the file i will select the zip file this what is the account finance payable import finance payable import this is the account take care because if you select any other it will not work find payables import save and close this is done so you have to come back again to the schedule process in this step you will run load file import load file load interface file for import okay the parameters will be what is the import process select the one time payment go to down import payment or payable payment request here import payable payment request this is the import process data file my file ab payment request muhammad go to up submit there is one process was submitted end by 90 just schedule refresh until the status will be succeeded now still now all of them succeeded so again you have to run import payables import payables payment request take care because there are two the same name but this report this request select this okay enter the parameters the business unit and leader what is the source go to down source for one time payment don't select the other as an import no go to down source for one time payment port set optional group counting date for the counting date counting date is either determined by the counting date input for here as a defined or if the accounting date is not defined it is set as the invoice date take care of the accounting date merge summarize yes or no submit again it will this in the by 96 with was submitted okay refresh until to check the status either succeeded rejected warning field
running. After all of the status is being succeeded, you can check the output of the import payable payment request report to check the status either imported successfully or not imported successfully. It will not take more than one or two minutes. Now the import is succeeded, sub process also succeeded, the report is still running and it must be also succeeded and completed. So now it's succeeded. If you click on it, and go to down, click publish, export as HTML or Excel. To check the status, you will find our parameters. Go to down, there is one payment request audit report, there is one payment has been imported successfully. So if you take the invoice number OTP Muhammad. This is the date, currency, amount, line only one, total line amount or the total of the OTP is 2500. Whatever I entered in the template, it is imported. So I will come back to AB invoices, go to payables, invoices, Manage invoices or search. Go to just enter OTB Muhammad search. You will find it here OTB Muhammad. You will find it as validated. Okay. And voice type payment request. So, this is how, as a practical example, how to make the OTB how to load, how to import, how to check the status of the report, also how to check the invoice after it entered. I hope now you got how to make the full cycles for the OTP here validated as we said before you can come here and edit if you enter or sorry if you need to enter any attachment you cannot add any attachment through the file here so what is the option there after you import and it's imported successfully come here to the invoice as a normal invoice action edit go to attachment and add your attachment come here attachment Add whatever you want for the file as a touch. Throw FBDI, you cannot. Then you can complete the invoice. What is the last section here? Template done, setup done, practical example also done. Last one is frequently asked question about OTP. First one, can the same part be used for spread uploads for or of one time payment? The answer is yes, however the part information must be the same in all uploads, otherwise they will be considered as separate parties. The impact of this is that if party information is the same, duplicate invoice numbers cannot be created. Question 2. Can REST API be used to create one-time payment? The answer is no. Because until now, 
there is no functionality to use REST API. I think there is one enhancement request still Oracle working on it. So there is no any REST API to create one time payment. How can one time payment be used to create payment to a foreign bank account? One time payment creates bank accounts without the allow international payment flag when certain information is not provided. In order to have the allow international payments flag enabled for the account, populate either the bank name, bank number, and the bank branch name, bank branch number, or PIC in the payables payment request import template. After import of the payment request, the foreign underscore payment underscore use underscore flag, which is allow international payments, will be updated as Y, yes, in the table IPY underscore EXT underscore bank underscore accounts, which corresponds to this setting. Question number four, how can attachment be added? As I told you, you should try to add attachment to payment request through create invoice slash edit invoice user interface as a UI in similar manner as is done currently. When user selects plus icon for the attachment, a pop-up window should appear where can user enter details of attachment as is done currently for the payment request. Currently, also using FBDI, there is no any or there is sorry, there is one enhancement request to enable the upload attachment using FBDI. Question number five How is accounting date determined? I told you before, accounting date is either determined by the accounting date input for the import payables payment requests if defined. If the accounting date is not defined, it is set as the invoice date. Question number six. How can project attributes be uploaded through one-time payments? This functionality is currently not supported by one-time payments and is being considered for a future release through one existing enhancement request. Question number Seven, how can the error aura one two eight double nine value to large column fusion for locations country? As I told you, ensure that the country code used to populate the country column is using only two characters. USA must be US, Canada must be CA, India must be IN, United Kingdom, UK and so on so the country must be two character only thanks for watching if you like my contact i hope to subscribe if you have any questions or doubt or comments you can write your comment and the questions in the description and i will reply to you thank you